past 11 weeks, we have watched 16 celebs battle it out to be crowned king or queen of Dancing on Ice. Only three remain, of course, for Sunday's final. Oh, what a roller coaster it's been. Hello and welcome to Dancing on Ice 2011. Watch your face because you end up looking a little bit goofy out there. <laughs> Loving the dance moves. Very enjoyable, partly for all the wrong reasons. You're the one that brings the fun, and you do bring that extra bit of sparkle. You're like a skating Viagra. I absolutely <laughs> love it. You're saying that you're having a great time out there. I'm not seeing that. Every week you seem to be here just to offend people. It's I'm not. Will it ever stop? If your opinion was still so important, you'd still be I would be, be on the panel. Sit down! Oh, my God, oh my God, you're great. Oh, my God, you're There's no business like show business. You've got rhythm, baby. I loved all that. Ah, yeah, let's go! <laughs> on with the show! A hug. Time off my life. Well, with me now, somebody who's been there every single step of the way, head coach Karen Barber is right here. When you see that, you realise, gosh, there's been so much, it's you know? It's been an epic, hasn't it? For Absolutely. Right and the wrong reason. Extraordinary. Um, now, I have to ask you about the whole Jason Gardner thing and all of that, because it really was... Um, well, let's have a look at it first, and then we'll, then we'll talk about it. Here we go. If your opinion still mattered, you'd be on the panel. And secondly, I am looking at the artistic composition what he's doing, okay? And what you're talking about... All right, I'm saying that I am no, looking the at the before, artistic... The little bit before I the said panel. that if, you, if your opinion was still so important, you'd I still be, be on the panel. The panel. <laughs> you know, Jason, you, you really are so offensive. You bring to this panel... So you keep saying... You bring to this panel so little. Jason, you really do. Well, good for you, I think the nation said, because I think that, I think, you know what, there's, there's being kind of the pantomime villain and there's crossing a line, mm -hmm. and actually he did cross the line. It's not the first time he's done it, to be fair. He has crossed the line before. Um, bit icy still? We haven't spoken no. since. Um, there has been an attempt of an apology, as you saw on the, um, the show then that followed. Yes, but it wasn't really an apology. Gave it one hand, took it away with the mm. other. But, um, you know, I was really excited about the new role that I was playing and I was... Um, not sad to leave the panel because I think it enhanced what I was doing yeah. anyway. And so, it, yeah, I, th I thought it was time to stand up for myself. Mm. And um, I think Jason went on to say I'd, I'd received a formal warning, which also wasn't the truth. I'd never received that and have not, nothing but support from producers and uh, mm. people that watch Dancing on Ice, which is really good. Because you're a very, very important part of it because you're there to make sure that everybody, all the contestants, you know, feel the best that they can, yeah. do the best that they can. Yeah. And you're almost, I guess you're almost like an agony aunt for them in some ways. You know, you've really got to help them, not just technically, yeah. but emotionally as well. Well, I'm, I'm there from the first steps. Literally, I watch yeah. them fasten their boots on their first day when they audition, and I'm there all the way through. Mm. And um, nothing was going to take that away. And uh, yeah. suddenly I was there and, um, and felt it was, it was time. And, uh, mm. I think he had gone too far. Oh, he did. I mean, he was trying to demean you, and that's not on. It's just not on. You yeah, know, it, and you it, then have two choices. You either you accept it or, or you have to say, OK, that's wrong and it's mm. time to stand up for myself. And that was that moment. Do you think you'll ever talk to him again? You know, I hope so, because, you know, we've done every series together mm. from the first series, and we he, he does make me laugh. He's... He is that kind of pantomime person, but, you know, there's always good yeah, and yeah. bad about everybody. Sure. So you would be willing to maybe have a cup of yes. tea with him, should that? I would like to think there will be bridges um, built, right. but they're not there yet. Not quite there yet, there no, yet. No, no, no. No sort of um, thaw. <laughs> to keep with the dancing on ice theme. Just keep with no the theme. Sort of but look, let's talk about um, the final, because obviously I can't believe we're right here now. We've whittled it down. Let's talk about Sam first of all. Um, okay. what, do you, what do you make of Sam? Because he's kind of been the favourite, hasn't he, all the way along, really? Sam's been the favourite. He, uh, he lost his way. We kind of found him um, slipping down the leaderboard. Yes. Um, the girls then took over. We had uh, Chloe at the top and mm. Laura also at the top. So I think this year's final is our most open yet. I had a theory. I thought, well, so far, up to last week, Chloe was the only one that hadn't been in the skate-off. Yes. So I thought she probably would have more of a public support, but mm. nope, she's, she was in the skate-off also. Yes. So I think it's now completely 
even across the board. She's Astute. very good. You know the only person that will stop her doing really well is herself. It's herself. herself. That's her the nerves. Problem. She gets very nervous, yeah. doesn't she? Um, Sam this week has had a huge fall and uh, he's, he's hurt a rib quite badly. Yes. Um, and I think tiredness was a big part of that fall. Mm. My worry now is that he can't sleep at the moment because it's, he can't get a, a comfortable position to oh, sleep. So see. I have uh, a lot of concerns about The Sam. injuries are terrible. What about Laura? What about Laura? Laura has been this person that's plodded on and she's, she's pushed herself every week. She's got great strength of character, really good work ethic, and mm. she works so well with her partner, Colin. They're well matched. So very, very strong contender mm. for the title. They are, I, I honestly can't... Can't call it. Can't call it at all. The bookies are saying Sam is 10 to 11. Okay. Laura is 8 to 4, I think. Okay. And, oh, 6 to 4, I do beg your pardon. And Chloe is 9 to 2. But you know what? It's totally If open, those made it? any sense to me whatsoever... No, I. No, I. I'm going to say it but could them, be them that bets, I won't know what we're yeah. talking about, I, I, I suppose. It's, all, it's there. It's yeah, there for any, any three of them. Now, you might have had a spark with Jason, but... Something very lovely has come out of Dancing on Ice, and you and Christopher are together, which is really good. But because yeah. you've been pals for years and years and years, and now, hey, romance has bloomed. So I hope I hope that's going really well for you. And yeah, everything is fine. Good. Um, it's it's best to take things slowly. Of We've course. both been in long-term mm. marriages, and uh, we found ourselves in the same stage. Right. So, um, no, we're all good, but very focused on work at the moment. Exactly, Let's... exactly. And sometimes it's really nice to, to have somebody who you really know very well. It actually, you know, it's, it can actually work quite well. I mean, I, I was friends with my husband for about a year before we started going I out with each other. We've been friends over 30 years, well, so maybe <laughs> it's a good sign. <laughs> no, I think it's really good. Well, you know each other incredibly well. I'm sure he would have been very impressed by this photo here. Can we have a wee look at this? Because, oh. wow. <laughs> Wow, that's fantastic. What was that for, that, that photo shoot? Was that just a celebration of the fact that you're looking so good right now? Well, I was asked to do it and yeah. um, I said yes uh, because I've lost two and a half stone. You have indeed, you're looking uh, fantastic. And then a few days before I, I pulled out and said, no, I don't think I, I can do this. <laughs> and But I, I was not talked into it, but, but I was, you know, obviously promised it was going to be a... a oh, it a looks beautiful. You look absolutely Very respectful fantastic. photo shoots, yeah. which I've never... I don't even own a bikini. <laughs> so for me to do something like that was completely out of my comfort zone. But, you know, and my girls, are, they said, oh, Mum, you should do it. Too it's right. amazing. Too right. And I, do, so, I have I'm, to say, you are looking fantastic. Thank you. I'm glad, glad that I did it. Exactly, it's something that you can, you'll always keep. A one-off. You'll always have. <laughs> yeah. Do you know, it's great to see you, Karen. Thank you so, thank so you. much. Well, and well done for standing up to that bully. Well, come and see us on tour. I'm you back betcha. on the panel. Oh, good, <laughs> good. Glad to hear it.